Within his first week, he signed an executive order ordering an adult of an audit of government contracts and combating waste and abuse. Created the first created the post of Chief Performance Officer, whose job it is to make operations more efficient to save the federal government money. On his first full day, he froze White House salaries for the duration of the Great Recession. He appointed the first Federal Chief Information Officer to oversee federal IT spending and efficiency. He committed to phasing out unnecessary and outdated weapon systems and signed the Weapons System Acquisition Reform Act in an attempt to limit waste, fraud, and abuse in the defense procurement and contracting systems. He created the National Commission on Fiscal Responsibility and Reform, signed an executive order instructing federal agencies to review all federal regulations and remove any unnecessary and or burdensome regulations from the books. Burdensome. Dismantled the Minerals Management Service, thereby cutting ties between energy companies and the government. Banned gifts from lobbyists to anyone in the executive branch. Banned anyone from working in an agency they had lobbied in previous years and placed strict limits on lobbyists' access to the White House. Held the first ever first held the first ever first online town hall from the White House and took questions from the public. Became the first president to stream every White House event live. Established a central portrait for Americans to find service opportunities. Restored the 30-day time frame for former presidents to review records and eliminated the right for the vice president or family members or former presidents to do the reviews, giving the public greater access to historic White House documents and curtails the use of executive privilege to shield them. Improved the Freedom of Information Act and issued new guidelines to make FOIA more open and transparent when procuring FOIA requests. Streamlined the Department of Education procurement policies and made them more transparent. Provided the first voluntary disclosure of the White House visitor's log in history. Signed a law in to completely reform NSA data collection programs and keep phone records in the hands of the phone company. Pop pushed through and signed the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act, also known as the Stimulus Package. He also launched Recovery.gov, a website that allows taxpayers to track spending from the Act. By the end of his first year, the economy created and sustained 2.1 million jobs, and the ARRA stimulated the economy by 3.5%. He guided the massive TARP financial and banking rescue plan and forced financial organizations to pay back virtually all bailout money. Established the Making Home Affordable Home Refinancing Plan. In 2010 alone, more jobs were created than had been created during Bush's eight years. He pushed through and, in, and implemented an auto industry rescue plan that saved as many as one million jobs and possibly the entire auto industry. Through his investment in GM, returned to the company to its place as the premier car company in the world. In February 2016, GM was in such good financial shape that he gave a share of the profit to each worker with checks up to 11 grand. Doubled funding for the Manufacturing Extension Partnership to improve manufacturing efficiency. Increased infrastructure spending after years of neglect. Signed the Helping Families Save Their Homes Act, which helped millions of Americans avoid preventable foreclosures and provided $2.2 billion to combat homelessness and stabilizing the housing market. Signed an executive order creating jobs immediately by reducing the time needed for review and permitting of infrastructure projects. Through the Worker, Home Ownership, and Business Assistance Act of 20, 2009, he and congressional Democrats provided tax credits to first time home buyers, which helped the U.S. housing market recovery. Played a lead role in getting the G20 summit to commit to a $1.1 trillion deal to combat the global financial crisis. Signed new rules making it easier for home buyers to get a loan to buy a condominium. Through the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act, saved at least 300,000 education jobs such as teachers, principals, librarians, and counselors that would have otherwise been lost. <coughs> Provided funding to states and the Department of Homeland Security to save thousands of police and firefighter jobs from being cut during the recession. Signed bills to provide extra training for local police forces, especially with regard to active shooter situations. China's largest manufacturer, Foxconn, is building a large plant in Pennsylvania. Worked with Apple Computers at, to get them to build more product here, and the company is building two large plants to manufacture products here, one in Texas and one in Arizona. Created an institute to invest in more manufacturing jobs in the technology fields of the future. Ordered all federal contractors to pay a minimum wage of $10.10 per hour, leading the way to a national increase. As a result of this decision, a number of large employers, including Disney and Walmart, have increased their minimums. Ordered the completion of the International Trade Data System, a digital trade record book, by 2016. This move will streamline and simplify the process through which small and medium-sized businesses set up the export of U.S. goods. Signed bill 
to expand opportunities and to promote greater Native American tourism. As of October 2016, a record 73 consecutive months of overall job growth. As of August 2016, unemployment drops below 5% for the first time in eight years and without a significant bubble, remains below 5% all year so far, 4.9%. As of October 2016, there have been 80 consecutive months of private sector job growth. In April 2016, new unemployment claims hit their lowest level since November 1973 as of September 2016, they remain at 43-year lows. That means lower than at any time during Reagan's administration. Since February 2010, when unemployment peaked, 15.6 million non-farm private sector jobs have been created. Contrary to GOP rhetoric, most of the new jobs created have been full-time, not temporary. Oversaw a reduction in the federal budget deficit by two-thirds since taking office reduced the federal budget deficit from 9.8% of GDP in fiscal year 2009 under Bush to 2.5% of GDP in FY 2015. Scolds Congress and gets a $305 billion highways, bills, highways bill passed. This bill had the added benefit of creating hundreds of thousands of new jobs and creating incentives for green cars. Signed the Fraud Enforcement and Recovery Act, giving the federal government more tools to investigate and prosecute fraud in every corner of the financial system and create a bipartisan financial crisis inquiry commission to investigate the financial fraud that led to the economic meltdown. Ordered 65 executives who took bailout money to cut their own pay until they paid back all bailout money. Along with congressional Democrats pushed through and got past Dodd-Frank, one of the largest and most comprehensive Wall Street reforms since the Great Depression created and implemented rules to reduce the influence of speculators in the oil market, created and implemented rules so banks can no longer use depositors' money to invest in derivatives and other high-risk financial instruments that work against depositors' interests, supported the concept of allowing stockholders to vote on executive compensation, endorsed and supported the Foreign Account Act Tax Compliance Act of 2009 that would close offshore tax avoidance loopholes negotiated a deal with Swiss banks permitting the U.S. government to gain access to bank records of criminals and tax evaders, signed the American Jobs and Closing Tax Loopholes Act, closing many of the loopholes that allowed companies to send jobs overseas and avoid paying U.S. taxes by moving money offshore. Thanks to the Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act, inflation in the healthcare sector dropped to its lowest point in 50 years. Signed the Credit Card Accountability, Responsibility and Disclosure Act to protect consumers from unfair and deceptive credit card practices. Card guided the housing market all the way back from total collapse which led to a rally for housing starts. Brought airline industry back to their highest profitability since before the recession. Created an airline passenger bill of rights preventing airlines from stranding passengers on tarmac for hours requiring them to return to the gate within three hours or stiff or face stiff fines. Blocked a monopolistic merger of Staples and Office Depot to preserve at least some competition. Stock market has reached record highs, restoring most of the economic losses felt during the Bush recession. Promoted and signed a bill to establish the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau and implemented it. Consumer confidence continues to inch up to its highest level more than a decade. Initiated a $15 billion plan designed to encourage increased spending or lending to small businesses. Created business.gov to allow online collaboration between small businesses and experts re-managing a business. The program has since merged with SBA.gov. Took steps to improve minority access to capital. Used recovery tarp, recovered TARP money to fund programs at local housing finance agencies in California, Florida, Nevada, Arizona, and Michigan. Crafted and signed an executive order to establishing the President's Advisory Council on Financial Capability to assist in financial education for all Americans. Oversaw the most sweeping food safety legislation since the Great Depression. Through the Fraud Enforcement and Recovery Act, extended False Claims Act to combat fraud by companies and individuals using money from TARP and stimulus programs. Set up rules for banks in handling legal marijuana money. Added greater protections to consumer financial transactions to reduce identity theft. Took steps to prevent pirate fishing and protect fish populations. And ordered stricter labeling requirements on labeling of seafood products in stores. Signed the RAISE Act, which should encourage more people to open small businesses and help improve the economy. Signed a bill that allows low volume vehicle manufacturers that will increase the entrepreneurship among small car manufacturers often build replicas of classics 
but who often build green vehicles, signs an executive order to strengthen cooperation with regard to global entrepreneurship, signs a law to allow ordinary investors to help a company start up through crowdfunding, blocks the merger of several health insurers to ensure that competition remains in the health insurance business, signs a law to strengthen American economy competitiveness, work to provide affordable high quality child care to working families. Through the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act, cut taxes for 95% of America's working families. Tax rates for average working families are the lowest since 1950. Extended and fully funded the patch for the alternative minimum tax for 10 years. Extended discounted health coverage under the COBRA health insurance law for the unemployment for 9 to 15 months, and has also extended unemployment benefits more than a few times. Provided a $20 billion increase for the supplement, Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, food stamps, signed an executive order that established the White House offer I'm sorry that established the White House Office of Urban Affairs by the way put snap here for supplemental nutrition assistance program increased the Buffett rule in his 2014 budget proposal in order to fulfill a campaign promise to make sure tax rates are fair between the rich and middle class he used the fiscal cliff negotiations to extend for five additional years the American opportunity tax credit, which provides tax credits to families for college-related expenses, thus saving those families up to $10,000, increased protections from the employment, from the, for the unemployed who are seeking a government job, updated and modernized overtime regulations under the Fair Labor, Fair Labor Standards Act, FLSA, signed and implemented the Healthy Hunger Free, hun the Healthy Hunger Free Kids Act to improve nutrition in schools and make children healthier, to make college more affordable and accountable will be began rating colleges with regard to affordability and value, initiated a reform of federal job training programs to make more make them more relevant to the current economy and the job market. Under Obama, at the bottom 95% of taxpayers pay lower federal income taxes than at any time in the last 50 years, including under Reagan or either Bush. Signed a presidential memorandum authorizing six weeks paid leave for all federal employees with a new baby and encouraged Congress to do the same for all workers. 2014 marked the first time since 1984 that unemployment dropped in all 50 states and the District of Columbia. Took steps to improve workplace safety by creating an advisory board to study workers' exposure to toxic substances. Changed overtime rules to make it far more difficult for employers to avoid paying overtime to workers. Changed rules for federal contractors guaranteeing that all workers earn paid leave. This should affect about 300,000 workers. Signed a Hague Convention Agreement to make it easier to collect child support from parents wherever they are in the world. Negotiate a law to finally replace No Child Left Behind and remove much of the owner's government oversight that caused children to stagnate, not improve academically. Signed executive order to expand charitable giving among federal employees. Helped to end the victory tax that caused financial hardship to successful Olympic athletes. Formed a commission to examine and make recommendations for fixing the broken voting system. Created a civil rights division in the Justice Department that had become a very strong voice for black people. At, the press, at a press conference August 9, 2013, gave up some executive power, prompting to create adversarial process in FISA regarding NSA surveillance, FISA. Proposed rules to enhance fair housing laws to give HUD and other enforcement agencies more enforcement power. Ordered a review of capital punishment policies after several botched executions. Approved $1.2 billion discrimination settlement with black farmers who had proved USDA bias. Appointed Karen Kareem Dale, as first ever special assistant to the president for disability policy, concentrated immigration enforcement on those who commit crimes and vowed to stop breaking up families, streamlined the visa process to make it more responsive and humane for those who want to be here legally, took steps to tighten the reins when it, came, when it comes to providing local law enforcement agencies with military-style equipment and exercising more control over the equipment they receive, changed fair housing rules to make more affordable housing available to more people, helped Democrats in Congress pass and sign the Civil Rights History Act, Created a policy task force. A, create, I'm sorry. Created a policy policing task force to deal with the problems that led to the Black Lives Matter movement. Hashtag. His Justice Department investigated the Ferguson Police Department twice and slammed them for their racism and exploitive practices. Established the White House Council of Native American Affairs to improve government-to-government -government relationship relations with Native American nations. Limited local police acquisitions of military style equipment to reduce the likelihood of overkill. Signed blue alert laws which provide police officers with more information when they are threatened. Blocked the sale of Apache tribal land to foreign mining company over Republican objections. Settled with the city of Cleveland over civil rights and excessive force violations. 
reviewed the practices of the Philadelphia Police Department and made 91 recommendations to prevent civil rights and excessive force violations, signed a law to modernize the way the federal government refers to minorities, removing certain archaic terms from the vocabulary, took steps to treat opioid addiction as a health issue rather than purely as a law enforcement issue, signed a law to better protect children in, in tribal foster care, foster care, blocked an oil pipeline in South Dakota that would have devastated sacred Sioux land, worked with Congress to pass bill establishing commission on Native children, which will examine some of the most pressing problems facing Native American nations, signed bill establishing a sexual assault rights act by working with Democrats in Congress, worked with Congress to pass law to make sure there are changing tables in all federal restrooms, including men's rooms. He issued final rules that required all employers to prominently post employees' rights where all employees or prospective employees can see it, including all websites and internets. Obama's Equal Opportunity Opportunity Commission clarified and strengthened rules prohibiting discrimination against pregnant workers, required companies who bid on federal contracts larger than half a million dollars to publicly disclose all previously violations of labor law, including unpaid claims for black for back wages, made it illegal for federal contractors with more than a million dollars in contracts to force employees into arbitration and workplace discrimination accusation, veto a Republican bill that would have blocked new NLRB rules that were designed to speed up the time it takes workers to unionize. He also added a memorandum of disagreement to make his reasons for the veto clear and made a major statement in support of unions, cracked down on companies that were previously denied sick pay, vacation, and health insurance yeah, denying sick pay, vacation, and health insurance, and Social Security and Medicare tax payments through abuse of the employee classification of independent contractor, signed laws that banned imports of goods produced through forced labor, signed and implemented the Matthew Shepard and James Byrd Jr. Hate Crime Prevention Act, which made it a federal crime to assault anyone based on his or her sexual orientation or gender identity, oversaw and implemented the repeal of the reprehensible Don't Ask, Don't Tell policy, extended benefits of same, to same-sex partners of federal employees, appointed more openly gay officials than anyone in history, appointed first openly transgendered cabinet official in history, advocated that a United Nations adopt a policy supporting gay rights worldwide. As soon as the Supreme Court invalidated the Defense of Marriage Act, he moved to extend federal benefits to same-sex couples, issued an order requiring hospitals to allow visitation by same-sex couples, changed HUD rules to provide to prohibit gender and sexual orientation-based discrimination in housing, changed his mind and publicly expressed support for same-sex marriage, issued a presidential memorandum reaffirming the rights of gay couples to make medical decisions for each other, appointed several prominent gay athletes and others, and plans to show U.S. government's commitment to gay rights to anti-gay Russia. Department of Agriculture propagated new rules to better enforce non-discrimination when it comes to USDA investigations and to extend non-discrimination to gender identity, banned all federal contractors from discriminating against gay workers, persevered with his campaign to turn gay marriage into marriage and won in the Supreme Court, establishing the White House Council on Women's and Girls to ensure that all cabinet and cabinet level agencies <coughs> consider the effect of their policies and programs on women and families, implemented the Lilly Ledbetter Fair Pay Act, which restored ba basic protections against pay discrimination for women and other workers, Eliminate federal funding for absence-only education and rescinded the global gag rule. Improved the pa Paycheck Fairness Act, making it possible for employees to talk about uh, their salaries without retaliation and ordering salary data collection so as to make it harder for employers to, to pay women less. Signed an executive order pledging support for efforts to end the global problem of violence against women and girls shattered another glass ceiling by naming Janet Yellen chair of the Federal Reserve beginning February 1st, 2014, expanded funding for the Violence Against Women Act, ordered companies with 100 employees or more to disclose pay data based on race and gender to address the pay gap, signed laws restoring Arlington Cemetery burial rights for women pilots in World War II, made significant reduction in drug sentencing guidelines for current prisoners, oversaw the first drop in the federal prison system in 32 years, increased his use of clemency to reduce thousands of nonviolent drug offenders from prison, ordered a ban on solitary confinement for juvenile offenders in federal prisons, took executive action to promote smart gun technology to make them safer. After a failure by Congress to act, proposed extended executive orders to create more background checks and to fully staff the background check system, relaxed HIPAA rules enough to allow for more information to be available to the background check system, ordered the tracing of guns as part of criminal investigations to provide data to researchers, ordered the justice Justice Department to look at the categories of mental health problems prohibited from owning guns to make sure people aren't falling through the cracks getting guns, 
expanding the definitions of gun dealers and expanded the information available and required in background checks for firearm purchases, set up a task force to figure out what other measures can be taken to limit gun violence in the wake of congressional inaction, signed bill to improve protections for, for federal for correctional officers and their families, changed the playing field on criminal justice reform by commuting sentences of low-level criminals and signaling a more practice foot, practical footing, signaled major shift away from the failed drug war by promising to commit more than a billion dollars to combat addiction, provided active combat troops with better body armor, created a joint virtual lifetime electronic record program for military personnel in order to improve their, the quality of their medical care, put an end to the Bush era stop loss policy that kept soldiers in Iraq and at slash Afghanistan beyond their enlistment date, signed and implemented Veterans Health Care Budget Reform and Transparency Act, making more money available to enable better medical care for veterans. The Congressional Democrats oversaw the largest sp spending increase in 30 years for the Department of Veterans Affairs for improved medical and extended care facilities for veterans, improved the Green Vet Initiative, which provides special funding to provide veterans with training in green jobs, initiated and signed a recruitment and employment plan to get more veterans into government jobs, oversaw a $4.6 billion expansion of the Veterans Administration budget to pay for more mental health professionals, signed the Military Spouses Re Residency Relief Act, which ensures that spouses of military personnel who are forced to move become their spouse because their spouse is posted for military duty can avoid state taxes in their temporary residence, ordered improvements to access the mental health ordered improvements to access to mental health care for veterans, military personnel, and their families, got Syria to dismantle its chemical weapons without military firing a single shot or dropping a single bomb, along with congressional Democrats and only reauthorized families of fallen soldiers to be able to visit when the body arrives at Dover Air Force Base, but also provided funding for it, ending the media blackout on coverage of the return of fallen soldiers, funded Department of Veterans Affairs with an extra $1.4 billion to improve veterans services, VA, signed into, bill, signed into law a bill that provides support, counseling, and breastfeeding supplies to military moms who are covered under TRICARE, the health insurance provided to veterans, signed into law a bill that makes it easier for military dogs to retire at home with their handlers, signed bill to expand the availability of housing to homeless veterans, visited more countries and met with more world leaders than any previous president during his first six months in office. As he promised, he gave a speech at a major Islamic forum in Cairo early in his administration made a speech at a U.S. mosque to demonstrate his commitment to religious rights and sent a message to Muslims around the world, restored America's reputation around the world as a global leader, reestablished and reinforced our partnership with NATO and other allies on strategic international re issues, closed a number of secret detention facilities, improved relations with Middle East countries by appointing special envoys, pushed forward the first realistic Middle East peace strategy in more than a decade without abandoning the two-state solution, pushed for military to emphasize greater development of foreign language skills, offered $400 million to the people living in Gaza, while calling on both Israel and Palestine to stop inciting violence, refused to give Israel the green light to attack Iran over their pos possible nuclear program, ordered the closure of the prison at Guantanamo Bay, although blocked by Congress, ordered a review of our detention and interrogation policy and prohibited the use of enhanced inter interrogation, ordered all secret detention facilities in Eastern Europe and elsewhere to be closed, released the Bush torture memos. On his second day in office, banned torture, reversed all Bush, Bush torture policies, and brought the U.S. into full compliance with the Geneva Convention. In response to the emerging Arab Spring, he created a rapid response fund to assist emerging democracy for foreign aid, debt relief, technical assistance, and investment packages in order to show that the United States stands with them. And the F-22 program saving $4 billion, though the 187 aircraft cost $358 million to build and had never flown a combat mission. Passed the Iran Sanctions Act to prevent war and encouraged the Iranian government to give up their nuclear program. Ended the Iraq War. Worked to help out, worked to keep our withdrawal from Afghanistan on track despite GOP opposition. Reiterated that commitment in 2014. Conducted a secret mission by SEAL Team 6 to rescue two hostages held by Somali pirates. Through the United Nations, Ambassador Susan Rice helped negotiate a peaceful split of Sudan into two countries, creating an independent South Sudan, helped make donations to Haiti tax deductible in 2009, established a new U.S.-China strategic and economic dialogue, issued executive order blocking interference and helping to stabilize Somalia, established new, more reasonable policies in our relations with Cuba, such as allowing Cuban-Americans to visit their families and send money to support them. The new policies in Cuba led to thawed relations and the first U.S. Embassy in Cuba in more than 55 years, 
became the first U.S. president to visit Cuba in more than 80 years, negotiated a deal with Iran that will prevent them from getting a nuclear weapon anytime soon without firing a shot or invading the country. As a result of the Iran agreement, Iran shipped pretty much all of it nuclear material to Russia, became the first U.S. president to visit Jamaica in more than 30 years, worked to restore relations with the country, and signed a natural gas distribution agreement with the country, signed laws extending some privacy protection to U.S. allies, a reversal of the Bush practice of spying on people like Angela Merkel and the like. With the Global Food Security Act committed resources to expand food avail availability worldwide in an attempt to limit the scope of global hunger, Init instituted Power Africa, an initiative to bring electoral generate electrical generation to greater parts of the African continent, lifted sanctions against Myanmar slash Burma, signed bill to end Americans' involvement in international wildlife trafficking, signed an executive order to allow up to 110,000 additional refugees into the United States, created a comprehensive new strategy for dealing with the international nuclear threat, authorized a $1.4 billion reduction in Star Wars program in 2010, we started nuclear non-proliferation talks and built up the nuclear inspection infrastructure slash protocols to where they had been before Bush, signed and got ratification of a new SALT treaty, negotiated and signed a new START treaty that will stay in force until at least 2021, committed the U.S. to a, to a no permanent military bases in Iraq, developed a comprehensive strategy with regard to Afghanistan and Pakistan designing, designed to facilitate the defeat of Al-Qaeda, the withdrawal of most troops, and the rebuilding of Af Afghanistan. We focused on Afghanistan, stabilized the country, and began the process of withdrawing troops from the country, negotiated a deal with the Afghan government to withdraw troops and military support while assisting in rebuilding and modernizing of the country, took steps to severely, severely weaken al-Qaeda and limited their ability to terrorize the world, negotiated and signed a nuclear non-proliferation treaty with India, worked with NATO to limit the slaughter of, in of innocents in Libya so that Libyans could topple the despotic Gaddafi government and determine their own fate, got Egyptian president slash dictator Hosni Mubarak to leave the Egyptian government to the people to determine their own fate. In 2011, reoriented American focus from the Middle East to the Asian Pacific region by simultaneously engaging China and crafting new alliances with Asian countries uncomfortable with Chinese behavior, increased border security, restored federal agents such as FEMA, agencies such as FEMA, to the point that they have been able to manage a huge number of natural disasters successfully, ordered and oversaw the Navy SEALs operation that killed Osama bin Laden, established a Homeland Security Partnership Council to enhance the nation's ability to, to quote, address Homeland Security priorities from responding to natural disasters to preventing terrorism by utilizing diverse perspectives, skills, tools, and resources, signed agreement with Afghanistan, it's Afghanistan and war, turned security over to Afghans, breaking with recent presidential tradition, instead of just attacking Syria in the wake of chemical weapons attacks on Syrians, Obama ordered a full report on the decision-making process, instead of holding hearings and creating a policy political football, he quietly captured a suspect who actually committed Benghazi terrorist attack. He's also getting a lot of useful information from the suspect. <coughs> Instituted rules in order to order sanctions against individuals and groups that threaten national cybersecurity. Instituted to counter new sanctions against North Korea after threats of nuclear attack and several tests. Got Congress to reauthorize FAA spending and to improve the efficiency of air travel for passengers. Took concrete steps to improve our counterterrorism efforts. Make great strides in defeating the Islamic State without committing hundreds of thousands of troops or, or carpet bombing civilians against Republican objections. Through the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act, invested heavily in elementary, secondary, and post-secondary education. Created the Race to the Top program, which encouraged states to come up with effective school reforms and rewards the best of them. Oversaw major expansion of broadband availability in K through 12 schools nationwide. Oversaw major expansion in school construction. Signed an executive order that expanded recognition and funding for historically black colleges and universities through the American Recovery and Re Reinvestment Act. Put $5 billion into early education, including Head Start. Signed the Democratic sponsored post 9 11 GI Bill, also known as GI Bill 2.0, to improve veterans' access to education. Oversaw expansion of the Pell Grants program expand opportunity for low and middle class middle income students to go to college. Signed and implemented the Individuals with Disabilities Education Act, which provided an extra twelve point two billion dollars in funds, took major new steps to protect students from in, from ineffective for profit colleges through quote gainful employment through gainful employment measures, whereby schools have to demonstrate that its students actually find work to get federal aid, repeatedly increased funding for student financial aid, and at the same time cut the banks completely out of the process thus us creating greater accountability. Reform student loan program 
to make it possible for students to refinance at a lower rate, created a rating system for colleges so that those applying for student financial aid know better what they're paying for, led a bipartisan effort to reform the federal approach to education and essentially repeal No Child Left Behind. High school graduation rates have soared under Obama, created a presidential memorandum to restore scientific integrity in government decision making, opened up the process for fast tracking patent approval for green energy projects. Through the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act, committed more federal funding, about $8 billion, $18 billion, to support non defense science and research labs. Obama EPA reversed re research ethic standards which allowed humans to be used as guinea pigs in tests of the effect of chemicals to comply with numerous codes of medical ethics, conducted a cyberspace policy review, provided financial support for private sector space programs, oversaw enhanced earth mapping to provide valuable data for agricultural, educational, scientific, and government use, through, uh, through American Recovery and Reinvestment Act, provided $500 million for health professionals training programs, increased funding for community-based prevention programs, expanded space exploration and discovery options for to include more players, through the Connect America Fund, pushed through and received FCC approval for a move of $8 billion in subsidies away from telephone landlines to assist lower income rural families in assessing broadband. In the wake of the West Fertilizer Tragedy, formed the Chemical Safety and Secure work, Security Working Group to work on measures to prevent another, to prevent another such events, established a Cyber Threat Intelligence Integration Center, a recommendation made by the 9-11 Commission to coordinate efforts to fight cyber crime and terrorism. The Obama FCC, with his leadership, adopted strong net neutrality rules to keep the internet open and equal for everyone, ordered rules to speed up deployment of a more comprehensive broadband infrastructure, set up a national strategic computing initiative to, quote, maximize benefits of high-performance computing, HPC, research, development, and employment, ordered a federal level change in national earthquake standards, signed executive orders designed to strengthen government cybersecurity and prevent hackers from getting in, took steps to combat the efforts of climate change by committing the U.S. to developing long-term drought resilience measures, started the road to greater exploration of space by signing bill to encourage mining on asteroids and clarifying property rights on space, officially joined the Paris Climate Accords, thus strengthening the effort and making it a more powerful commitment to climate change, eliminated bush era restrictions on embryonic stem cell research and provided increased federal support for biomedical and stem cell research, signed Democratic-sponsored CRISPR and Dana Reed Paralysis Act, first comprehensive attempt to improve the lives of Americans living with paralysis, expanded the Nurse Family Partnership Program, which provides home visits by trained registered nurses to low-income expectant mothers and their families to cover more first-time mothers, ordered that all vehicles be equipped with a rear-view camera by 2018, despite car makers' complaints about the cost, <sighs> along with Democrats in Congress, ushered through the, and signed a bill authorized authorizing FDA to regulate tobacco and other tobacco companies to disclose their ingredients and to ban cigarettes falsely labeled as light, has overseen a 50% decrease in cost of prescription drugs for seniors, eliminated the Bush era practice of forbidding Medicare for negotiating with drug companies on price, two weeks after taking office signed Democratic-sponsored Children's Health Insurance Reauthorization Act, which increased the number of children covered by health insurance by 4 million, urged Congress to investigate Anthem Blue Cross for raising premiums 39% without explanation, pushed through and signed Affordable Care Act, which expanded health insurance coverage greatly and ended many detrimental insurance company practices. He also established healthcare.gov through ACA, allowed children to be covered under the parents' policy until they turned 26. Through the ACA, provided tax breaks to allow 3.5 million small businesses to provide health insurance to their employees. Through the ACA, millions of people received help in paying their health insurance company premium, premiums. Through the ACA, expanded Medicaid, to those making up to 133% of the federal poverty level, except for those states whose Republicans refuse to take the extra money. By 2014, the Affordable Care Act dropped the number of uninsured Americans by 22.3%, which amounts to more than 10.3 million people with insurance who didn't have it before. Only 13.9% of Americans are uninsured, a drop from 18.9% in 2013. The Affordable Care Act has increased the life expectancy of Medicare greatly, through the ACA, health insurance companies now have to disclose how much of your premium actually goes to pay for patient care. Medical Medicare costs actually declined slightly for the first time in decades in 2011, according to the Congressional Budget Office. Since passage of the ACA, health care inflation is at its lowest level since 1960. It's created the HIV Care Continuum Initiative to strengthen the government's ability to respond to the continuing domestic HIV ep epidemic after years of Republicans weakening the government's ability to deal with the crisis. Signed bills that signed bill that will provide health care premium support to workers who lose their health insurance due to foreign competition. In response to the confusion triggered by the Hobby Lobby decision, which essentially declared that corporations could have religious rights and lord them over employees, created new rules to give all women with insurance the right to free birth control. 
implemented the National HIV slash AIDS strategy for 2015 2020, which is a follow up to the first such strategy in US history, which he implemented in 2010. He took steps to improve the country's approach to drug addiction and mental health, signed and will implement a new children's safety standard for e cigarettes, put into place the first mandatory rules regarding labeling of products containing genetically modified organisms, GMO, set up a White House Cancer Moonshot Task Force in order to implement ways to develop a cure for cancer, took steps to improve detection and treatment of mentally health, mental health problems, signed Trevor's Law, which will allow for better tracking and study of cancer and disease clusters, signed a memorandum of understanding with Cuba to share healthcare information, expanded abil avail availability of Cuban cigars and Cuban rum, or run, in the absence of a GOP congressional bill lifting the Cuban embargo, extended an incentive program for Big Pharma that was about to expire that encouraged them to find cures for pediatric diseases, double federal spending on clean energy research, pushed through a tax credit to help people buy plug-in hybrid cars, created a t program to develop renewable energy projects on the waters of our outer continental shelf that will produce electricity from wind, wave, and ocean currents, re-engaged in the climate change and greenhouse gas emissions agreement talks, and proposed one himself. He also addressed the UN Climate Change Conference, officially reversing the Bush era stance that climate change was a hoax. Fully supported the initial phase of the creation of a legally binding treaty to reduce mercury emissions worldwide, required states to provide incentives to utilities to reduce their energy consumption. Under Obama, our dependence on foreign oil has dropped to its lowest rate since 1985 and continues to drop. Meanwhile, oil consumption is weighed down because of reduced driving and higher mileage standards, improved siting, review, and permission standards station and to improved sitting, review, and permitting stations for power plants in an attempt to seriously improve the nation's electronic electric grid. We engaged in a number of treaties and agreements designed to protect the Antarctic, created tax write-offs for purchase of hybrid and electric vehicles, established a quadrennial review of our energy infrastructure to encourage a modernization of the grid and to encourage the transition away from fossil fuel use, mandate that federal government fleet purchase be for fuel efficient American vehicles and encourage that federal agencies support experimental fuel efficient vehicles. Encourage BP to pay two twenty billion dollars to establish oil spill liability trust fund to reduce the need for taxpayer funds to be used for compensation cleanup. No, it took twenty years to get one point three billion dollars for the Exxon Valdez spill. <coughs> oversaw and pushed through an amendment to the Oil Patrol Pollution Act of 1990, authorizing advances from Oil Spill Liability Trust Fund for the Deepwater Horizons Oil Spill, actively tried to amend the Oil Pollution Act of 1990 to eliminate the liability limits for those companies responsible for large oil spills, became the first president to simply say climate change is a fact, and set up the first federal government protocols for dealing with the impacts of climate change, initiated criminal and civil inquiries into the Deepwater Horizon oil spill, asserted federal legal supremacy to bar Texas from authorizing new refinery permits on its own, set up new stricter standards severely limiting power plant emissions, cutting them to 68% of 2005 levels by 2030, strengthened the Endangered Species Act, strengthened protection for wildlife and expanded enforcement of laws against wildlife trafficking, Obama EPA improved boiler safety standards to improve air quality and save 6,500 lives per year, through the EPA attempted to take steps to severely limit the use of antibiotics in livestock feed, increase their efficiencies in human, their their efficacy, efficacy in humans. Through new EPA regulations, he created a pretext for closing the dirtiest power plants in the country by limiting emissions of mercury and other toxic gases, increased funding for national parks and forests by 10%, announced greatly imp imp improved commercial fuel efficiency standards, signed a bill that allowed for increased regulations of a large number of chemicals and other toxic materials allowing the EPA to make the use of certain toxic materials more transparent, announced a huge increase in average fuel economy standards from 27.5 mpg to, in 2010 to 35.5 mpg starting in 2016 and 54.5 starting in 2025. Facilitated investments in industrial energy efficiency to create jobs and strengthen U.S. manufacturing while saving businesses $100 billion over a decade, Set up the Gulf Coast e Ecosystem Restoration Council to oversee Gulf Coast restoration efforts after the 2010 BP oil spill. The money to fund the restoration efforts comes from fines against BP. Engaged in the most comprehensive plan to combat climate change in a generation. Ordered energy plants to prepare to produce at least 15% of all energy through renewable resources like wind and solar by 2021. Oversaw the creation of an initiative that co converts old factories and manufacturing centers into new clean technology centers guided a 418% increase in solar power capacity between 2010 and 2014. As of May 2015, 74% of new electrical c 
capacity was provided by solar and wind power, bypassed Congress and ordered EPA to begin regulating and measuring carbon emissions, oversaw a tripling in the use of wind power to generate electricity. The U.S. now leads the world in increased wind power capacity, ordered the federal government to incorporate climate resilience and climate science into all international development in which the United States engages, fast-tracked regulations to allow states to enact fuel efficiency standards that exceeded federal standards, fast track increased fuel economy standards for vehicles beginning with the 2011 model year. It was the first time such standards had been increased in more than a decade. Oversaw establishment of an energy partnership for the Americas to create more markets for American-made biofuels and green energy technologies. Obama EPA reversed the Bush era decision to allow the largest mountaintop removal project in U.S. history. Ordered the Department of Energy to implement more aggressive efficiency standards for common household appliances. Obama EPA ruled that excessive that excess CO2 is a pollutant, closed the deal with China to limit carbon emissions to slow down climate change, locked in all oil and gas drilling in Bristol Bay, Alaska, one of the most pristine environments in North America, signed an executive order to approve environmental efforts in the Arctic region and to combat climate change by better coordinating the efforts of the 23 federal agencies operating in the area, vetoed a bill to fast-track construction of the par parallel Keystone XL pipeline, expanded clean water regulations to more stringently protect all of the nation's waterways, even when states fail in their duty, signed an executive order committing the federal government to lead the way in building a sustainable economy. It's his fifth doing just that. <coughs> Banned the use of antibiotics in food, government in food served in U.S. government run cafeterias and ordered agencies to only use antibiotic free meat. Developed new rules to address climate change and create a significant boost to clean energy. Negotiated and signed a virtually Republican proof global agreement on climate change with 190 countries signing, signing on became one of 196 countries that signed on to a UN framework on climate change, ordered a moratorium on new coal leasing on federal land, and they will examine the whole leasing process, signed a bill to better protect pipelines and authorize greater oversight, signed an order turning more than 87,000 acres of Maine woods into the North Woods National Monument, signed into law a measure di directing the Department of Transportation to issue guidelines for minimum standards for underground storage of natural gas, and there's a lot more. Nominated Sonia Sotomayor and Elena Kagan to the Supreme Court, Sotomayor is the first Hispanic justice in the court's history, and the woman represents only the third and fourth women to serve on the court, out of a total of 112 justices. Appointed the most diverse cabinet in history, including more women than any other incoming president, loosened the rules and allowed 14 states to legalize medical, med medical marijuana to regulate themselves without federal interference, signed national service legislation, increased funding for national service groups, inclu including triple the size of the AmeriCorps program, Signed a bill that provided $4.3 billion in additional assistance to 9-11 first responders. Placed major restrictions on the ivory trade in a bid to prevent the wholesale slaughter of elephants in Africa. Signed a bill that will seriously curb the use of animal testing and establish alternative testing methods. Signed the Claims Resolution Act, which provided $4.6 million in funding for a legal settlement with black and Native American farmers who have been cheated out of government loans and natural resource royalties in the past. To help those communities devastated by Hurricane Sandy, issued an executive order setting up the Hurricane Sandy Rebuilding Task Force and asked Congress to approve $60 billion in supplemental assistance to aid in storm recovery. Produced 23 executive actions designed to make it easier for law enforcement to identify those who shouldn't have guns, thus helping them enforce the law. Expanded trade agreements to include stricter labor and environmental agreements in trade packs like NAFTA. Oversaw funding of the design of a new Smithsonian National Museum of African American History, which is scheduled to open on the National Mall in 2015. He protected the funding during budget negotiations. Oversaw and passed increased funding for the National Endowment for the Arts. Expanded the authority of customs to improve enforcement of trade and custom laws and to better coordinate said enforcement among various agencies. And did you know, despite the characterization of some, Obama's success rate in winning congressional votes on issues was an unprecedented 96.7% for his first year in office. The way he's often cited as superior to Obama, President LBJ's success rate in just in 1965 was only 93%. And of course, despite the odds, became the first black president and then was re-elected by a wide margin.